everyone. Welcome back to Demon's Crest. I hope this video finds you well. I forgot to save my volume settings for uh, what I recorded the first two videos of Demon's Crest at. Hopefully this turns out alright. Anyway, we're going to be doing stage three here this episode. We might do a little bit beyond that. Depends on how well I do against the boss. I'm, uh, I'm a little nervous, but thankfully Demon's Crest is very forgiving uh, should you end up perishing. Uh, you may recall that I noted a recommendation to do Stage 4 before doing Stage 3, and that's due to the, I guess I'll call it tricky platforming uh, in Stage 3. Let's go ahead and show it off. Also, I changed my controls to uh, be on my PS2 D-pad instead of uh, one of the analog sticks. It'll hurt my thumb, but hopefully it results in better play. Hopefully it results in better play. Right, so thankfully Firebrand can do a little bit of uh, this platforming skip, but uh, it's not as convenient for him. Also, that is a potion vial flask, or as the instruction manual calls it, an urn. We can't actually break through the vines with any of the weapons we currently possess, so we can't collect it. Unless we're willing to do a little bit of tricky platforming. We'll come back for that, though. That will be something we come back for. Now these damn Cyclops bats take multiple hits from the Firecrest for, uh, Firebrand to destroy. And platforming, folks, is hard. I didn't even mean to fall down here, but now we're gonna demo this off. Firebrand can't handle water very well. You know, he's a fire gargoyle. His crest is broken. It's shattered into multiple pieces, and we only have the basic fire. So, you know, he's got limitations, everyone. I was just demonstrating a feature, that's all. I'm not bad at this game, honest engines. Okay. Somehow we made it past the water section. Tremendous. Deep into the forest we go. But wait. Suddenly! Doves! <laughs> I mean, they're probably like phoenixes or something, but I just like the mental image of them being doves, okay? So, uh, the fire explosions do make platforming a little trickier, along with eruptions of tentacle spike root things. Not exactly sure what I'd call those. <laughs> but that's fine. We're just gonna skip past all of this, because there's a full heal at the end. There's also a section which we cannot break with the items we currently have at our disposal. And already we have arrived at the boss of Stage 3. No good image of him in the instruction manual, he is the Flame Lord. He's got two forms. Let's see how well I can handle him after, you know, it being a few years since I last played this game. Alright, that's Form 1. Here is a far more obnoxious form he's got. Him colliding with you results in two hit points worth of damage, or you colliding with him, of course. Whereas any of his projectiles just do one hit point of damage. Do note that, again, as the Earth Gargoyle, Ground Gargoyle, your attacks deal more damage whenever you're rooted on the ground. That said, he is not always conveniently on the ground, and you might not always conveniently turn towards him. Wow. Wow, I smoked him! Only death I had was the demoing of water. <laughs> wow! I uh, found him to be a really hard boss whenever I was a kid. Uh, especially, you know, without I've, I've gotten so few pit power pickups, you know? Anyway, we've gotten another piece of the Firecrest. It's called the Tornado. It allows us to jump higher than before. Fantastic, right? Jeez, that was all done in under five minutes. Okay. Sure. Wow. I thought I would need multiple runs at him. I am so pleased with myself. My hubris, it's tremendous. Anyway, I said we'd be doing a little bit of backtracking. 
You know, it doesn't hurt to get a few items along the way. It's not like I'm doing a speed run here, folks. Of course, I then probably proceeded to get myself walled off to these damn Cyclops pads. There we go. You'd almost think I was competent at this game based on what you just saw there. Okay. So, uh, one part of the Firecrest shoots out a claw that you can use to protect you from spikes. Or if you got something from stage four, you can pretty much ignore all this. Instead, we're just going to be taking the damage. But wait, Grimoth, what about this tornado power? Could you use that? Not really here. The tornadoes don't fly out far enough to act as a convenient platform, so we'll just tank the damage. There we go. Earn get. We'll do this again. I didn't know whether I wanted to backtrack for this too, but I guess since I killed the Flame Lord in one shot... Whatever. Let's go for it. I think I can get this with Tornado. I don't think I need the Stage 4 thing, but maybe I'm damn wrong. I guess I can use the extra time to, uh... To do some more headbutting, yeah! Rather than doing anything of merit. Okay. We're here for that. All right, we got ourselves a life up. I guess I can show off these things more readily now too. Oh, maybe not. That's scary. <laughs> Let's not show those off. I'm sure you've noted by now that uh, Firebrand can only have one projectile on the screen at a time. Now, there is a talisman, uh, which allows you to have two projectiles on the screen at a time, and you can see that there's a secret door down there. Well, not that secret, huh? Anyway, we made it back to where we fought the boss. But of course, there ain't no boss. So, we just use our escape unit, a la Mega Man X, <laughs> to get on out of there. I'm gonna head back here to stage two now. We're gonna go visit the potion shop. The Grimoth. We still don't have a way to get through the the barrier. Yes, we do. Well, okay. Let me change that sentence. We don't have a way to get through it. We just have a way to get around it. Right. Sorry. Keys. Da, 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 da. Tornado completely obsoleted by what you'd get in stage four, but <laughs> hey, we're demoing it off, everyone. All right, that takes us to the potion shop. Look at this highly friendly individual. Welcome to the Black Lotus. We carry only the finest potions. Which one would you like? Right, so potions. I'll put a description of what all of these do uh, in the description for this video. Uh, what I would recommend is Herb, if you don't have that much health, but you're here for whatever reason, or maybe you're short on cash, or Ginseng. Herb, Herb recovers part of your health. Ginseng is a full heal. Uh, Elixir, you could get one, like as a just-in-case, oops, I goofed measure. Uh, it will bring you back to life if you die, but it is only a very with a very small amount of health. We have enough gold, just so, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy a ginseng. Now, I've done all of this, not just to demo off all these cool facets of the game we've yet to explore in the series, but, uh, I expect to have a lot more trouble with, uh, stage four than I will with stage three. And so having a full heal in my pocket, I think, will be of great use. But what the hell do I know, right? I might just be dumb. Alright, we got enough shekels. Let's go ahead and play the, uh, the easy headbutting game a few times. Just to warm up, you know? 
Again, I am, uh, I want to practice headbutting. I can already tell I'm gonna do tremendously awful at this damn thing. Uh, not so much for this run, but for the 100% full clear run of this that I'm gonna be doing next. Let's go visit and say hi. How's it going, man? How you doing? Ah, Trio the Pago, totally been a long time. Cool. Ah, uh, yes. Let's see how well I do after it's been a few days since I recorded the, the first two videos. I mean, I'm already pretty damn pleased with how I handled the Flame Lord. So if I fail this, that's okay. Wow. Wow. Wonderful. Great. That was a work of art. Here is your prize. Take it. Holy shit! I'm amazing! <laughs> what a great day! Great day, everyone! Okay. So, I'm gonna take my immensely good fortune and leave there. We don't have any new stages unlocked, uh, but we will next time. After we complete stage four. Because we haven't yet. Don't worry, we'll get around to that. Hopefully next time. Hopefully I don't fuck it up. I guess we'll see you in the end. Or, or whatever works. I know English, I swear.